Hello, I'm Dr. William Zogby, Chief of Cardiology here at Houston Methodist the Baker Heart and Vascular Center. I'd like to welcome all of you to our second annual Houston Methodist System Congenital Heart Disease Awareness Week. During this series of videos, we will talk about some of the important points that all of us in healthcare need to know to care for this rapidly growing population of patients. With me is Dr. Huey Lin, Director of the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program. Huey, it's great to have you. Thanks, Dr. Zogby. Huey, the way I understand it is we have about 1% of our life birth that are affected with congenital heart disease. So what is the implication of this for our population in general and maybe also for Houston? That's, that's a really, really important question. It turns out today that a child born with congenital heart disease, this 1% of all live births, has more than 90% likelihood of surviving to adulthood, which is really incredible. It's an incredible miracle of medical science. And it is, I think, the, a testament to the advances in surgery, but also to catheter-based procedures that really have advanced therapies and, and the you know, survivorship of people with adult congenital heart disease. So having this in mind, how many do you think we're gonna have in Houston affected with adult congenital heart disease? Yeah, that's a great question. So it turns out that we think there may be somewhere around 2 million adults with congenital heart disease in the United States alone. And then if you extrapolate that in the Houston metro area, that's something around 45,000 adults with congenital heart disease. And I think the implications for this is as our specialty grows in adult congenital heart disease, who cares for these individuals nowadays? Who cares for them? Yeah, that's a great question. We have everybody caring for them. So we have a full spectrum. Some patients have no care whatsoever. Some patients are cared for, cared for by cardiologists. Some of them are being still cared for by their pediatricians. And then some of them, of course, are being cared for by us here in the Houston Methodist Adult Congenital Heart Program. And I think some of the challenges for patients with adult congenital heart disease is some of them are cured, but actually the vast majority live with the disease and need further attention. And I think that's why we need the specialized care for specialists nowadays. We have specialty in adult congenital heart disease to take care of them, correct? That's absolutely right. So when you really think about it, and unfortunately this was not the message 30, 40 years ago. We didn't say this to children's families. We didn't say this to parents. But when you think about it, if you do a repair in a child, by the time they grow up and their heart grows to adult size, many of the things that we did for them as children don't work anymore. So for example, if we replace the child's valve with the cadaveric valve when they're say three years of age, 25 years later, it's not a surprise that that cadaveric valve no longer functions. In some situations, we expect some of those prosthetic valves that are placed only work about 10 to 15 years. And so when they arrive to adulthood, they may not actually know that they've already arrived past the lifetime of the valve that they had placed as a child. So as you mentioned, many of these patients, when they reach adulthood, are already in a situation where they need some sort of intervention. And so finding these patients and bringing them into cardiac care, especially into the adult congenital heart program here at Houston Methodist, is really a critical mission of not only our program, but of course the Debakey Heart and Vascular Center. And as patients grow into adulthood, they have adult also diseases such yeah. as diabetes, hypertension, coronary disease because they survive, you know, to adulthood and late adulthood, which is which is amazing. I think that's the you know, the impetus for the care of the patients with adult congenital heart disease by people specializing in this. Uh, thinking about that also, how about planning a family? Um, you know, uh, mothers with adult congenital heart disease, how do we care for them? Yeah, that's a great question. So. Obviously, as you know, we have a phenomenal asset in our program, Dr. Valeria Duarte, who runs our high-risk cardiovascular pregnancy program um, and is also herself an adult congenital heart specialist and specifically a specialist in advanced imaging and congenital heart disease. She takes care of these patients who are born with heart defects once they reach adulthood when they become pregnant. Some of our patients have absolutely no problems whatsoever going through their pregnancy. But of course, some of them, as we talked about, need something else done for their heart as a result of, um, over time, 
challenges with the way their heart was repaired. And so getting them through the challenges of pregnancy, because of course the cardiac output required to get through pregnancy is much, much higher than before pregnancy. We need somebody uh, who's a specialist like Dr. Valeria Duarte to work with the obstetrics team here and around the system to take care of these patients and get both mom and baby safely through pregnancy. And talking about teamwork, I want to congratulate you on the accreditation for the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program here at Houston Methodist because part of the accreditation is not only the specialist mm -hmm. of adult congenital heart disease, but the whole team that's available for these patients, meaning heart failure specialist, yes. uh, electrophysiologist specialist, um, collaboration with our obstetric and gynecology program, nurses, nurse practitioners. So congratulations on that and look forward to hearing more about the program. Yeah, thank you. And you know, it's funny, you mentioned the issue of acquired heart disease. You know, the other um, area that we're really looking forward to ha um, increasing our collaboration and talking more about is with our preventive cardiology program. Um, what we've learned recently is that patients who are born with congenital heart disease are potentially at higher risk for these things that you talk about such as diabetes, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, and even stroke. And so this is an area of intense focus here in our program now, where we really want to start to work with our preventive cardiologists on how we can hone in on the patients who are at highest risk for acquired heart disease. And last, I want to congratulate you on also getting into areas where if medical therapy and catheter-based therapy and regular surgery does not help uh, you know, patients with adult congenital heart disease and need further treatment on the area of transplantation, at times heart-lung transplantation for these patients. And I think this is a, a new area for us here in, at Houston Methodist, correct? Yes, absolutely. Again, I can't say enough great things about Dr. Duarte and of course her husband, Dr. Yusufzai, who happens to be a heart failure and transplant cardiologist. Together, they actually run the adult congenital heart heart transplant program. This has been an incredible, incredible next step for our program with Dr. McGillivray, our Chief of Cardiac Surgery and Thoracic Transplant, and of course with Dr. Arvind Bimraj, who runs the um, uh, heart transplant program. Together, this team has really pushed us to the next level. They've taken us into doing some extremely complicated cardiac and cardiac lung transplants in these very, very complicated adult congenital heart patients who really had no other options and really had no nowhere else to go. So I am thrilled to say that this team has been phenomenal at getting these patients through safely and getting to have successful turnaround after transplant. Well, that's wonderful. I think we look forward to the Awareness Week and the engagement of so many people here in Houston Methodist and the Houston area. And again, congratulations for such achievements. And I think congratulations for our patients to be able to get the care that they need. Thank you, Dr. Zaghi. Okay. And to all of those of you who are listening to us right now, we really want to make sure that we bring out this message of awareness around congenital heart disease. What that means is that when we think about 1% of all live births, that means many of us here within the Houston Methodist community are affected. That means among our 26,000 members of our Houston Methodist family and all of the loved ones, our spouses and our dependents may be affected by congenital heart disease. And so we want to make it safe to talk about congenital heart disease and to learn about congenital heart disease and ensure that every single one of our community who is affected by congenital heart disease has a place and a space to go to for their care and the prevention of additional complications from congenital heart disease and acquired heart disease here at the Houston Methodist to Bakey Heart and Vascular Center. Thank you.